Howdy. My name is David Alexander English, and I'm an artist based in Venice Beach, California. I'm from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, a little town called Falmouth, East Falmouth if you know it. Um, Woods Hole if you've been through there. Uh, I've developed a, a technique uh, for painting canvas, raw canvas. Uh, it's a watercolor technique using acrylic paint. I've painted over, I've been painting since about 1987 and uh, I've painted over 2000 canvases. Um, and at least half of those are a uh, trademarked intellectual property called the Sacred Geometry Paintings. Um, I have written and published uh, 29 books uh, eight of which are novels. Um, most of those books are um, with metaphysical themes. In fact, eight of them are um, the eight books of divine metaphysics. But the novels are, are uh, metaphysical as well. Um, and most of those books, the, the seven books of divine metaphysics are actually um, my original words on my original images. So half of them are photographs I've taken and half of them are uh, paintings I've painted, um, mostly sacred geometry. And um, each page was designed to uh, be uh, printed on canvas as a, um, a life-size uh, uh, poster and um, as part of a traveling exhibition and ultimately a permanent exhibition space. Uh, I did a, an installation of it at Burning Man in 20, when was the last Burning Man? 2019. I've actually done two installations of that work at Burning Man. The first one was in 2016. Um, that was called The Oracle of Absolute Truth and it was um, 120 pages from the Divine Metaphysics 103 book, um, Absolute Truth, question mark. And this last one, the one in 2019, was, uh, I think it was 300 pages um, from two books in the year-long series. So basically what I did is I, I wrote 10 questions on Divine Metaphysics every day. Um, and posted them on social media every day for a year. And every 90 days, I would compile those into a book. And um, while I was uh, doing that, I was writing and publishing a novel. So for like a, about a year and a half there, I was, I, you know, every, every month or two months, I was publishing a book. Um, and it went fiction, nonfiction, fiction, nonfiction. Um, and in the course of all of that, um, I uh, was composing music. And uh, let me finish about the, the Burning Man installation. So two of those books, the Divine Metaphysics 104, um, Immortal Life, and Infinite Love 105, were uh, pages from both of those were featured at the center camp um, at Burning Man in 2019. Um, the those were those installations were intended to be uh, kind of miniature versions of the traveling exhibition that I want to do. I hope to do down the road and around the corner. Um, the music, uh, I've composed uh, probably, I don't know, over 50 original compositions that make up about nine albums of uh, material, some of which are on um, all the streaming services. Uh, one of them is called The Twelve Journeys Underneath, and that is um, 
most of this 15 tracks of of uh, me playing the, a synthesizer and um, but there is a, a, a body of work there that are all uh, there's like eight albums of that um, about 40 original uh, acapella compositions I developed this technique where I I take uh, I make a recording of my voice doing something like an ohm um, for about five or ten minutes and then I layer and stagger that the, the tracks of that in increments of seven tracks so seven 14 21 and 28 tracks and stagger them two bars and they end up um, becoming within a minute or so they become very symphonic and there's no way to tell what the final product is going to sound like um, based on what the original recording is um, but I've made uh, done a lot of experimentation with that uh, most of my compositions are I, I consider uh, experimental but then again all music is is experimental so um, uh, recently, December, let's see, uh, September of 2019, I was diagnosed with squamous cell carcinoma and uh, underwent um, uh, chemo and radiation treatment after four months of trying holistic uh, solutions and was declared cancer-free in June of uh, 2020. But in January of 2021, um, the cancer was back. And I'm currently uh, undergoing um, six uh, immunotherapy infusions. I just finished my second one. And um, to try to make it interesting, um, these, these six uh, uh, infusions um, are three weeks apart. And so the last infusion is scheduled for June 30th, 2021. And I figured, uh, you know, it's nine months. I mean, excuse me, nine weeks, 90 days, 18 weeks. Um, I figured while I'm going through that, I might as well do the eighth book of Divine Metaphysics. And so every day uh, for this project, I compose 10 questions on Divine Metaphysics. Then I record myself reciting them. Uh, then I compose a little uh, two-minute piece of music to go with it, and then I edit that into a video with original footage and uh, post it on social media. Um, TikTok and Instagram get a minute and the first minute of it, and then uh, YouTube and Patron are getting the full, you know, two to three minute um, bit. And when I realized that that when I'm finally done with this project, when I'm finally done with the treatment, I'll have enough for not only a physical book, but I will have uh, at least 90 minutes of, of video um, already edited um, into, uh, and I'll put it in, make it into a documentary. And um, I'll also have, an audiobook, the material for an audiobook as well. So uh, that's what I'm I'm up to, uh, up to the the whole concept of the NFTs. Um, I have a, several projects that I want to um, do with the NFT. One of which is to uh, has to do with the releasing this the sacred geometry paintings, which are uh, I had a licensing agent uh, about 10 years ago, and one of the things that came out of that was that that all of my sacred geometry paintings are now a trademarked intellectual property. So every time I paint a painting that is sacred geometry, it becomes part of that intellectual property. And I would like to um, begin to mint um, the sacred geometry paintings uh, as a series of NFTs. Um, at the same time, I have uh, a couple of other projects. Uh, one is the, the flag project, 
flag series. Uh, and another is the, uh, the UBI, the universal basic income as a cryptocurrency. Um, so there's a whole series of art pieces that I've done and will continue to do in that series. And um, that's what I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, minting in the future. Uh, moving forward with, uh, I used to say that, that um, you know, I, I didn't sell my original. I have, uh, you know, of, of over the 2,000 canvases that I have, I've, that I've painted, I have about 98% of them. I've kept them um, because I very rarely would I sell an original. And the reason was, I what I would say to people is because, um, you know, selling an original is like selling the plates to print money. <laughs> And now, you know, here we are in 2021, and, and that couldn't be more true with the advent of the NFT. And um, so anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to, um, to reach out. Uh, there are um, some new avenues that I'm moving into in terms of branding, um, I realize that I'm, in, I'm at a, a stage in my career where I'm all about disseminating my work, you know, getting it out to the people it was originally designed for. And what that, um, one of the things I'm, I'm hoping to do with that is to, is to build my brand, so to speak. And in that light, um, I have, uh, um, a 24 hour um, live streaming computer that is set up. I have a YouTube channel that's davidstream.com um, that I'm hoping to, to build out uh, that I just, we just turned it on in September. Um, and um, I'm looking to, uh, I've just recently gotten the domains uh, davidamerica.co, um, davidamerica.art, um, davidalexanderenglish.art, david, uh, daenglish.art. Um, I think you get the general idea where we're headed. Um, I have an app, um, the daily app, um, spelled both the regular way of daily and uh, D A E L Y. Um, so, uh, yeah, at this point, it's all about building the brand. That's what I'll be doing for the rest of my life. So, thanks again for paying attention. Um, feel free to get a hold of me. Uh, one last thing I should mention um, is. Uh, my whole life, ever since I was four years old, I have wanted to learn how to fly. And recently, um, well, I should say one of the one of the novels that I wrote uh, was my first graphic novel. It was called Learning to Fly, Learning to Fly. And then I made it into a movie, uh, a 90 minute movie. And um, it's a. Uh, um, when I drew the graphic novel, there were 400 drawings that I did on an iPad with my finger in black and white. And I said to myself, you know, the next thing that I do, I want it to be uh, in color. And uh, at the time, I, I, I kind of made my peace with the possibility that I might not, that I might make it out of this world alive. Um, I mean, excuse me, I might not make it out of this world alive. Um, having learned how to fly, I kind of made my peace with that. And uh, recently, uh, after I was declared cancer free, I guess, uh, last summer, I started flying paragliders. And um, in Jan in, excuse me, in December of 2020, I got my certification to be able to fly without supervision. And so that's kind of my uh, mental bubble gum these days. <laughs> and uh, and my, uh, if I'm if I'm not at a hot spring, I'm training to learn how to fly um, better because there's no end to that. So I think it's kind of funny that I made the movie. I wrote the book and made the movie before I actually started doing it. So 
Um, the second um, project that came out of that uh, was uh, one of my novels is called Enoch and I published it in uh, 2018 and um, I've been drawing it as a movie um, but it's a little too long for a movie it's going to be over five hours so I do it uh, by the episode and right now there's it has its own YouTube channel and um, called Enoch a work in progress and there's uh, 12 episodes up, 12 of 40, um, and it's in color. And with all my own, my original music and voiceover and all this kind of stuff. So enjoy that, um, and that'll be it. Thank you very much, bye.